Hey there. Welcome canalers, ready to get our hands dirty with a little history lesson. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of upstate New York to explore the forgotten Utica Harbor Lock. This ain't just some pile of old concrete and steel. This is a testament to American ingenuity and a vital part of our nation's history. Now you can't talk about the Utica Harbor Lock without mentioning the Barge Canal. This 351 mile waterway was a game changer modernizing the connection for the Great Lakes to the Atlantic Ocean. And smack dab in the middle of it all was Utica, New York. The city became a bustling hub for trade and transportation during the old Erie Canal era. The Utica Harbor Lock was built to keep that connection open for Utica to the canal. The new Erie Barge Canal would run north of the old Erie and thus away from downtown Utica. Building a harbor for Utica was a critical piece of infrastructure ensuring the smooth flow of goods and people through the region. Now let's roll up our sleeves and get into the nitty-gritty of this engineering marvel. The Utica Harbour was a beast of a project. Sitting seven feet below the canal, Utica needed the only harbour lock on the New York canals, built to last. The lock chamber itself was a testament to the innovation of the time. We're talking machine-driven lock equipment and massive amounts of poured concrete all new technology for the early 1900s, these modern locks would be equipped with cast iron quarter round coating. This detail wasn't just for looks, it protected the edges of the chamber from getting chipped and damaged by all those canal boats and oil barges bumping around. And then there's the vertical lift gate. It's still a sight to behold, even though it's not operational anymore. Like any good construction project, the Utica Harbour Lock went through its fair share of changes over the years. We're talking multiple contracts, each one adding a new layer to the story of this structure. Let's break it down nice and simple. Contract T15 got the ball rolling back on January 8th, 1913, laying the foundation for the lock. Then came T15M in October of 1917, which focused on the lock gates and the overall operation. Years later, M62-13 and M63-8 came along to modernize the lock and keep it up to snuff. These weren't just minor tweaks. We're talking about major upgrades to the gates, lowering of the mitre sill, changes in how the lock was powered, and even modifications to the surrounding landscape. Each contract tells a story of adaptation, of how the lock evolved to meet the changing demands of the canal. Section 4. The Lockhouse, a silent sentinel. No lock is complete without a lockhouse, and the Utica Harbour Lock is no exception. Although the operator of the lock no longer needed to live on site, his humble abode served as the control centre for the operation. During the peak years, there was manning of the lock 24-7. Life as a lockkeeper was no walk in the park. They were responsible for opening and closing the lock gates collecting tolls, maintaining the lock, and just keeping things running smoothly. But it was an important job, ensuring the steady flow of goods and people through the canal. Section 5, from commerce to control, the changing role of the lock. Over time, the role of the Utica Harbour lock shifted as rail lines and highways became the preferred mode of transport. Commercial traffic on the Erie Canal dwindled. The St. Lawrence Seaway was the nail in the coffin, but the lock story didn't end there. Today, the Utica Harbour Lock plays a role in flood control and is the gateway to the Utica Harbour project. It helps to regulate the water levels of the Mohawk River, protecting nearby homes and businesses from potential damage. While it may no longer be a bustling hub of commerce, the lock still serves a purpose and will be necessary if the Utica Harbour will ever hold another boat. Section 6, A Legacy in Crete. Remembering the Utica Harbour Lock. The Utica Harbour Lock may be permanently closed to navigation, but its legacy lives on. It stands as a testament to the dreams and hard work, the determination and ingenuity of those who built it and kept it running for about a century. Next time you're in upstate New York, take some time to visit this forgotten marvel. Imagine the hustle and bustle of canal boats and oil barges passing through and appreciate the engineering genius that made it all possible. 
you might just learn a thing or two about American history and the importance of the Erie Canal. Until next time.